Hi friends, today I am going to discuss one of the most important topic in physics that is simple harmonic oscillator. Okay, and uh, let me consider a particle which oscillates back and forth about a mean position in between some particular limits minus a and plus a. If the displacement of this particle is sinusoidally varies with time, then we can say that this executes simple harmonic motion. One of the simplest examples which I can show you about uh, simple harmonic uh, oscillator is a block of mass m which connects to a spring that in turn connects to a rigid wall okay and this block of mass m is placed on a frictionless surface and this now at a mean position and if I pull this block of mass m into some particular distance this will execute a simple harmonic oscillation so this I can show you as the simplest example of a simple harmonic oscillator and in between some particular limits. Okay, simple harmonic oscillator is one of the most important topic in modern physics which can illustrate uh, the basic concepts and uh, uh, methods in quantum mechanics. It has various applications in some other uh, subjects also that is like uh, uh, solid state physics, uh, molecular spectroscopy, um, molecular spectroscopy and etc. Okay. So, a thorough study of simple harmonic oscillator is necessary for a uh, student uh, he wants to study the modern physics, a serious, uh, about a serious uh, student uh, of modern physics, okay. So, when we are considering this, uh, this block and this example, uh, I can show you uh, the kinetic energy of this block of mass m, kinetic energy, kinetic energy equal to p square over 2m okay and the potential energy we have learned in uh, uh, your uh, uh, um, you have i think uh, you have learned in your uh, pre university classes kinetic energy is p square over 2m or uh, this actually comes from half mp square and the potential energy potential energy is half uh, kx square okay half kx square where k is the spring constant of the spring hmm? And uh, if you are taking the total energy, we can say that that is potential energy plus kinetic energy. So the total energy is p square over 2m plus uh, this half mv square uh, is the p square over 2m plus uh, the potential energy half kx square. Okay. And in previous class, I told uh, if a physical system with a classical analogous, we can take uh, in quantum mechanics. Uh, when we are considering a physical system that has a quant uh, classical mechanic analog then we can uh, take uh, the Hamiltonian as Hamiltonian operator so when we are considering a Hamiltonian in classical physics h equal to we can write p square over 2m plus half kx square this itself we can take as uh, Hamiltonian operator in quantum mechanics okay So, from this we are constructing Hamiltonian and uh, this I can write as h equal to p square over 2m plus half k half half m omega square x square where k equal to m omega square and omega equal to root k over m. This is the frequency of this oscillation. Okay. Here I am going to derive energy eigenvalues and energy eigenvalues. For that, uh, I am using a Hamiltonian operator that is h equal to p square over 2m plus m omega square x square over 2. Okay. In uh, some textbooks, they use this h cap p cap x cap all these operators but i uh, used to completely follow this jj surprise book so i'm skipping just um, this cap okay uh, you have to understand these are operators uh, and uh, hamiltonian is this one and uh, uh, this oscillator is oscillating with the frequency angular frequency omega uh, equal to under root k over m and where k is the spring constant and m is the mass of the oscillator 
Okay. Here I'm introducing two different operators. Uh, that uh, operators are non Hermitian. Non Hermitian operators. Operator A is uh, root m omega under root m omega over 2h cross into x plus ip over m omega and a dagger equal to under root m omega over 2h cross x minus ip over m omega. This is known as mm, this is known as this is known as annihilation operator annihilation operator and this is known as creation operator okay creation operator some textbook use the uh, term racing racing operator and this one is lowering operator and the use of this operator will ever be soon okay and uh, let me find out the commutator of a and a dagger and that is equal to <coughs> commutator of a and a dagger is um, you know a is this one so commutator of a and a dagger is commutator of this and commutator of this one okay so uh, this uh, under uh, the term under this root m omega over 2 h cross and both the, both the terms are constants so we used to take outside so we need to multiply uh, under root m omega over 2 h cross under root m omega over 2 h cross while we are finding while we are considering the uh, uh, commutator bracket okay so uh, when we multiply this with uh, this one we will get m omega over 2 h cross and inside this bracket commutator bracket we are finding uh, x plus ip over m omega comma x minus ip over m omega so, uh, we know how to use commutation, commutator brackets, how to expand commutator brackets and that is equal to m omega over 2h cross and the first term x comma x commutator of x comma x and then x comma uh, minus ip over m omega. That's why here I'm using minus sign x comma ip over m omega plus ip over m omega x minus and the last term ip over m omega uh, commutator of ip over m omega and uh, I minus ip over m omega that's why here i'm using minus n and ip over m omega ip over m omega okay that is equal to m omega over 2h cross and this term this term we will get x and x commutator of the same term x and x means xx minus xx that should be that will be equal to zero and here also this is the commutator of p and p these terms are constants okay i over m omega and i over m omega are constants commutator of p and p then this will be equal to zero the remaining two terms are minus x comma ip uh, over m omega and ip over m omega comma x and we will get we can take this constant term outside okay i over m omega we can take outside that's why i over m omega in both terms in both terms i over m omega are there so i have taken outside and uh, i over m omega into commit uh, into minus xp plus px okay and we know what we will get for xp commutator of xp is uh, xp is ih cross commutator of xp is ih cross so uh, uh, there is already a minus sign so minus ih cross and the commutator of px is uh, i uh, minus ih cross okay so we will get that is equal to i over 2h cross this m omega and this m omega will get cancelled and the remaining term is i over 2h cross that is equal to i over 2h cross into minus i h cross minus i h cross that is equal to minus i into 2 i h cross over 2 h cross that we will get that is equal to 1 what this means actually uh, uh, we are finding commutator bracket we are finding the commutator bracket commutator of this a a dagger means a uh, a dagger commutator of this a a dagger means equal to a a dagger minus a dagger a this both are operators so if you are finding some ket okay some ket uh, this means a a a dagger operating on some ket means first this operator operates on this ket and will get some another ket and then this operator operates on that ket and again we, uh, uh, then we will get another ket okay and this term means a dagger a means operating on some ket means uh, first this will operate on this ket and we will get the uh, we will get another ket and that ket over that ket this operator will operate okay 
the uh, so this means the difference between the order okay uh, whether we are using whether we are uh, operating with operator o uh, operator a first or whether we are operating with operator a dagger first that is the, the difference between these two kind of operation we got that is equal to 1 okay that this one means so we have selected two, uh, two operators information operators a and a dagger and uh, we found that commutator of a and a dagger equal to 1 okay okay now let me introduce a number operator n as a dagger a when we are multiplying a dagger with a and we know uh, when our a dagger was under root m omega over 2h cross 2h cross x minus ip over m omega and uh, a was a was a equal to under root m omega over 2h cross x plus i p i p over m omega okay when we are multiplying with uh, multiplying a dagger with a we will get m omega over 2h cross x minus i p over m omega into x plus i p over m omega and that is equal to m omega over 2h cross x square x into x x square plus x into x into uh, i p over m omega minus i p over m omega into x uh, plus we are multiplying this one with this one we will get uh, we will get plus p square over m omega square okay that is equal to we are writing this terms together m omega over 2h cross and into x x square and p square over m uh, p square over m square omega square we are writing together and uh, uh, that's uh, plus i over m omega i over m omega this we are taking outside i over m omega and x p minus minus p x x p minus p x is commutator of x p okay use we used to define commutator of a, a, x p as x p minus p x and that is equal to m omega over 2 h plus x square plus p square m square omega square p square m square omega square uh, Mm, p square m square omega square plus i over 2h cross commutator of xp and that is equal to m omega uh, m omega over 2h cross uh, m omega over 2h cross mm -hmm. okay uh, in this step actually we have cancelled this and uh, this m omega and m omega okay uh, that's why we reached in this step and uh, uh, we are finding again xp you know uh, what is commutator of xp Commutator, commutator of x p equal to i h cross so if you are writing i h cross here then uh, i into i minus uh, minus uh, minus h cross it will come and h cross and h cross will get cancelled and the remaining term will be minus 1 by 2 okay so we got a dagger a equal to m omega over 2 h cross x square plus p square m square omega square minus 1 by 2 and we are putting uh, this as equation 2 Okay, and uh, uh, we know our Hamiltonian was H equal to this is a kinetic energy operator, this is a kinetic energy, and this is a potential energy. Okay, P square over 2m plus half m omega square x square. This is all our operators, and uh, uh, just keeping the uh, cap over it because of the uh, you know, uh, in Sakura's book, uh, this notation we usually use. This. Okay, so these are operators, uh, mind it, uh, uh, keep it in your mind. Okay, and h over h cross omega equal to p square over 2m h cross omega and we are uh, dividing this equation both side of this equation with h cross omega okay so then we will get h over h cross omega equal to p square over 2m h cross omega plus m omega x square over 2 h cross and that is equal to m omega over 2 h cross x square plus p square over m omega square and then we are uh, subtracting uh, uh, with a uh, uh, with half okay this equation we are subtracting with the half and h cross h over h cross omega minus half equal to m omega uh, over 2 h cross x square plus p square over m omega square minus 1 by 2 and let me put this as equation 3 and just look at this equation 2 and equation 3 rhs of, RHS of equation 2 equal to rhs of equation 3 okay rhs of this equation 2 equal to so, we can understand the RHS of equation 2 is equal to RHS of equation 3 and LHS 
LHS is uh, in this equation this is a dagger a uh, and uh, here it's h over h cross omega uh, minus 1 by 2 that means we can understand a dagger a equal to h over h cross omega minus 1 by 2 okay so a dagger a is uh, our number operator we define number operator here a dagger a that number operator equal to h over h cross omega minus 1 by 2 from this equation we can reach our uh, Hamiltonian operator h equal to uh, Hamiltonian operator h equal to n plus 1 by 2 into h cross omega let me put it as equation 4 okay now we denote the energy eigenket of n by its eigenvalue small n okay so if, if n is operating on uh, eigenket n then we will get eigenvalue n with an eigenket n and this is equation 5 and we will consider if the Hamiltonian operator h is operating on n h is operating on n we will get uh, we, uh, we defined uh, an equation equation 4 that was h equal to h cross omega n plus half okay so uh, here we are using that operator h cross omega n plus half operating on n that is equal to h cross omega into n operating on n plus half n that is equal to h cross omega n operating if n operating on n n operating on n we will get uh, we have defined in this way so we will get n into n plus half n that is equal to n plus half h cross omega into n so that means here we are using Hamiltonian and this is the energy operator so we are getting the energy eigenvalue as en equal to n plus half h cross omega the energy eigenvalue of symbol harmonic oscillator we have derived here okay